if you grab into it, it will always be, if you push it, the cap is on the left hand side, so when you pull it up, it will always stand up. What the vending machines in Okinawa capture the sound of that specific bird. Oh, that's eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Hey guys and girls, I'm Astrid Venice. This is Kathy Cat. Did you know that Japan has the highest density of vending machines in the world? Meaning they have five million vending machines. That's approximately a vending machine for every 25 to 26 people. If you think about that, that's a lot. But they're not only drinks. They are the most craziest types of vending machines here. You can get almost everything out of vending machines from ice cream vending machines to toy vending machines, ramen and udon vending machines, there is a reason why Japan is called the vending machine country. So today we're gonna to feature and cover some vending machine trivia that you will not have heard before. So let's go! When did you think the very first drinks vending machine appeared in Japan? It was actually in 1961. And guess who did them? These guys here, Coca-Cola had their own glass vending machine. So actually you would get a glass bottle out of the vending machine with a drink. And then in 1967, they were also the first ones to have then canned drinks in the vending machine. So a can of Coca-Cola instead of a glass. Did you know that vending machines actually have a design that is aimed towards people who are right-handed? I know, right? I didn't know that until we looked it up. Now, if you go now to a vending machine to get yourself a drink, first of all, the paying part, everything is on the right. So you can enter your coin here. Let's do this right now. And when you push the button here, What will always happen if you grab into it, you can test this, maybe maybe in your vending machines at home the same. If you grab into it, it will always be, if you push it, that the cap is on the left hand side. So when you pull it up, it will always stand up. You won't get it out like this. If you're right handed, you get it out like that. I didn't know that until I realized that all vending machines in Japan are like that. So when you just grab it with your right hand and pull it up, you're bound to have it right way up. Vending machines can also function as rescuers and saviors of people and nature, apparently. Some of the vending machine companies are encouraging their workers when they go around to refill the machines to keep an eye open. They contribute to the city security by, for example, calling rescue services or if they see anything suspicious happening, calling the police, similar things like that. Now think about it, some of these vending machines are in not so populated areas, maybe in some alleyways. So the gentleman who might be refilling your drink might already have rescued someone by doing a vital phone call to maybe rescue services or the police before. So next time you see one of those vending machine guys refilling your vending machine, give them a smile. Not only the guys refilling the machines, but also the machines themselves are contributing a lot. For example, one of them is they're helping out with nature here in Japan. On the Okinawa Islands, there is a bird called Yangbaru Kuina, meaning the island bird. Now, unfortunately, this one is about to die out. It's on the red list of endangered creatures. But what the vending machines in Okinawa are specifically designed to do is capture the sound of that specific bird so people who research that bird know where the bird is what it is doing what kind of mating call it is doing so they can study and hopefully help that bird and prevent it from dying out and that's what the machine are doing there now you might want to know do vending machines actually make money you know it's just between 100 yen and 200 yen actually in 2016, 2 trillion yen were made. That's the same as 263 PewDiePie revenues per year. 
Now that's the income for all the vending machines of Japan. However, how is it just with one vending machine? Now, the average of one vending machine's income in Japan is 1.1 million yen. That's, however, the average, meaning a vending machine out here in the countryside, where barely any people are walking past, will obviously make a very different revenue from a vending machine that's in Tokyo or in a big city near a station or in an area where loads of people will go past, maybe in a resting spot. That will differ. So, depending on where that vending machine is placed, that money can roll in. What would you have to do to become a proud vending machine owner? Well, there are several steps, but one and the most important is that you have space. Space that you legally can build a vending machine on. Because you need space for people to walk past to actually find your vending machine. Now, either you go and contact one of the vending machine companies, or sometimes these companies actually spot good locations and talk people into saying, hey, that might be a good spot for a vending machine there. And that's where it all starts. From there on, the owner has to give up a little bit of space and the electricity is what the owner is paying, but the machine, the vending machine itself, is generally lent from the company. So they rent it from whichever company they want to support at that time. Now, if a drink is 120 yen, which is like the average in bigger cities, how much does an owner actually make for his drink that just got sold? Depending on the machine company and drink, 10% up to 20% for each drink comes back. So let's have a look at this. So for example, 120 yen is the average price. So 20% of that would be 24 yen. That's the profit of the owner. All the maintenance will be handled by the vending machine company. So the owners don't have to do anything. Just give up a little bit of land and pay the electricity. That's it. And the money can keep rolling in. If your vending machine is in a good spot, a vending machine can earn from 100,000 yen to 200,000 yen, which is like $1,000, $2,000 if they are in a popular spot. So that's revenue that comes in by just standing there. You can also get your own vending machine second hand if you so wanted to. A vending machine second hand can go from Juman, which is 100,000 yen, to even 1 million yen. And a brand new vending machine starts at 1 million yen. Junbi <laughs> is a word that became very popular in Japan and it means hospitality. And Japanese hospitality you can also feel in their vending machines. How? Let me tell you how. When a drink is sold out, it will say Uri Kire on the actual button, which means you can't push it anymore. It says sold out, sold out. But guess what? It's actually not sold out. There's exactly one drink in there and it's waiting. The reason for that being is once the staff comes to restock it, they'll come and they bring the cart and they will fill in the drinks to fill up the machine. And the idea is that that one drink that has been waiting will come to the front and it will be called for the very first customer who buys this drink again. All the other ones will then generally have time to cool, but that very first drink will still be nice and cold even though the vending machine just got restocked. Now that's some omotenashi net. Now that's some omotenashi guys. <laughs> now that's some omotenashi guys. Some vending machines are also built to save lives and to help out people. One is, you will sometimes see a sticker on some vending machines that say once there is a really big earthquake, they will dispense the drinks for free. Meaning, if there's a big earthquake, lots of people will need water and access to liquids and those vending machines will have a trigger, it will open and there will be drinks coming out. Not all of them though. But what many vending machines also have is a sticker on the machine that shows where you are. So in case you get lost and you find a vending machine, that might just be your place. For example, you somewhere in the fields, you have a, your tire is broken and you need to phone rescue services, go to the vending machine, see if it has a sticker and find out where you are. And people might be able to come and help you. もしもし、今私迷子になりました。うん、目印になるものは全くない。あ、だけど、えっと、自動販売機に変えてあるのは埼玉市の本屋町の
何々マッチのに入ってますちょっと助けに来てもらえますか助けてくださいさあ5 yen. However, there seems to be a limit on how many coins a vending machine will accept from one customer, and it's said to be 20 coins. And I want to test that out. So let's try and fill this machine up and see if that's true. We went specifically to a store where you can buy those coins. So let's see. We had to get them all changed first. Okay, 21 pieces. Let's see when the machine tells us to stop. Ready? One, two,はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Okay, well, we need to try this out one more time, so let's try it out on this machine. Maybe we're just the other machine. This is like a the most common one here, Coca Cola. Twenty. And now this should be the final one. Twenty-one. Oh, director. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Stop eating it! <sighs> Our theory has failed! 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 <laughs> With Japanese vending machines, you might also get lucky. Some vending machines have a lucky lottery attached to it, like this one down here. You'll see a symbol. If you get all sevens in a row, you get one extra drink. And Japan actually has a law against unjustified promotions, meaning they have to have at least a max of 2% chance of winning. Which means if you're lucky after 50, buying 50 drinks, you might get a free drink. It hasn't really happened much to me. It happened only once to me in all my years in Japan. But I'm gonna try it now, anyways. Let's try it! And we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna get a melon latte. You ready? Oh, that's eight. Eight? Seven? Seven? Seven, seven, three. Ah! Oh! Otsukaresama des. In the scorching heat of Japanese summers, they are a lifesaver. And in winter, when they have nice and hot drinks coming out of the vending machines, they keep you nice and cozy while you're waiting for the train on the cold platform. I must say, I enjoy playing the vending machine game, which I call it when I go and I just get myself that, cold, that really nice hot drink on my walk to work. It keeps my hands warm and my tummy. And in summer, those cooling drinks definitely have saved me through the very hot and humid summers here. Now, what is your favorite vending machine drink you've seen so far on this channel? Be sure to check out, we have a whole playlist of random, quirky, weird, and creative drinks that we spotted in Tokyo. So, if you would like to see us test some of those and try them out, be sure to 
check out the playlist. If you love Japan content like this one, please do us a big favor. Don't only give us a like, but please also subscribe so we can send you more of Japan content out to you, no matter where in the world you are. I hope you enjoyed this special. I hope you enjoyed this special feature on Japanese vending machines. There's more coming up soon, so don't miss it. So until next time, I catch you soon on Ash Japanese. Bye!